guys, Chuck Cavalier, AthleanX.com. If you're going to do any overhead pressing movement or have any exercise done with your arms fully overhead, you're going to need shoulder mobility, yes, but it's not going to be enough alone. You need to have thoracic mobility. You need more specifically the ability to extend through your thoracic spine. As a matter of fact, even a healthy shoulder is only going to give you 165 degrees of flexion here in front of your body. In order to get all the way up to 180, you're going to need to have 15 degrees of thoracic extension. So it doesn't sound like a lot, but a lot of us have lost it because we have this rounded forward posture, this shoulder forward posture from all the things we do during the day, all the time spent at the computer, driving, whatever we do that's exactly opposite of the motion we need. We need to go backwards. So we can do that with a foam roller here, but you got to make sure you're avoiding some of the big mistakes that I see people make all the time when they're trying to do this. They think they're mobilizing their thoracic spine, but they're not. First mistake is people do it like this. They roll over, they lay over the top of the foam roller. They put their arms here behind their head to support their neck, which is not a bad thing, especially if you have a weak neck. But what you've done by doing this is pretty much blocked off exposure and access to your thoracic spine. Because when I do this, I've retracted my shoulder blades. So now my shoulder blades are actually sitting a little bit lower than my thoracic spine, and I'm not even getting to it. I'm not even getting to the point where I can mobilize the spine. So what we want to do is actually do the opposite. You want to be able to get your arms out in front of you, protract your shoulder blades, get them away, out and away, so that the lowest point is now the thoracic spine, so I can actually get at it and work at it. Some people can even cross their arms. I've even had success sometimes with people who can't get this by hanging two bands from a pull-up bar and have them grab the band so I know that it's kind of pulling their arms up and into extension. So now that we've gotten at this thoracic spine, the next mistake that you want to avoid is just rolling back and forth over it like this. Because what this tends to do is, first of all, create contraction from your abs. As soon as I'm contracting here from my abs, I kind of stabilize my spine and I'm not allowing it to actually bend over into extension. So what you want to do is drop your hips down get the abs out of it, just try to work on that area of the spine that's tight. So once I find it, I got my arms up in front of me and I get myself right on that tight spot and I just try to allow myself to sink back, okay, right on that spot. I can work it with a little bit of a roll back and forth right on that tight spot and I should be able to feel it. Now what you can do is, once you've found that tight spot and you've got your arms up over here, now once you've mobilized it for about a minute or so, you can then start to allow your arms to go back, 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 back into the position that they will be into overhead extension, right? So we've got our arms up overhead into that 180, and if I had a bar over my head, I'd feel pretty damn good at this point. So that's the position you want to work yourself in. Okay, there's another thing we can do here to mobilize the thoracic spine. We don't even need a foam roller. So what we can do is come over to a bench, and I like this one because it actually gives us two benefits. It gives us a chance to th mobilize that thoracic spine, but also stretch out your lats. Because one of the biggest problems we have is tight lats. Tight lats will prevent our arms from going up and over our head. So you put your arms up on a bench like this, bend your elbows, then sink back into your hips this way, and try to drop your head and your, and your thoracic spine, your, really your chest, down towards the ground. So if my chest heads down towards the ground, I'm going to get this action. So I'll get that extension here through the middle of my back. So here, and I go straight down. Then if I want to get reestablished, I come up, I round it up, so I can feel like, okay, I'm going to go in the opposite direction of this now. If I want to go in the opposite direction of this, go into this position first. Now I know, okay, opposite is straight down. And I drive my chest towards the ground. I can really feel this. Then up through here, get that excursion, and then go straight back the opposite direction. I can feel it in my lats. I can feel it here in my thoracic spine. So you got two options there, whether, again, whether you have a foam roller. If you do, just make sure you do it right, because there's a couple things that you're probably doing now that's preventing you from even getting any real benefit from it in the first place. And secondly, if you don't have one, do it on a bench do it on a piece of furniture, but just work and be aware of the area you're trying to work. It's that small area, and you're trying to get just that 15 degrees, but it's going to make all the difference in helping you to get your arm fully up overhead so you can protect your shoulders and make sure you're doing those exercises correctly. 
Guys, as a physical therapist, this stuff matters to me because the guys that come into me all screwed up usually have this stuff screwed up. I can help you to get more out of everything you do by helping you to train a little bit smarter, by putting the science back in strength. I do that in our Athlinex training system. You can get it over at Athlinex.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below and let me know what else you want me to cover here, especially in these PT-related videos, and I'll do my best to do that in the days ahead. All right, I'll be back here again real soon.